Well, hello again. It's Lee Kreider, producer of the Ohio Reb Show. And if you haven't been watching the race across America on the tracker and on the leaderboard, you have missed a whale of a lot. And we're going to go to the person who's been watching more closely than I have, Danny Chu. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Lee. So, hey, it's been an exciting race, hasn't it? It has. We're almost eight days in now. Almost eight days in, and you never know what's going to happen the next time you take a look, do you? No, you don't. Hey, let's get the men's race out of the way quickly here because we want to get to the women because that's where all the action's been. Yeah, it uh, looks like Strasser's going to finish in about eight days and six hours, which is slightly over 15 miles an hour, which will be one of his slowest finishes ever. But it will be his record sixth win and the first time any man has ever won three in a row. I think Christoph's goal this year, as I get it, has been to bag a sixth win and not to set a record. Marco Bello is in second place. However, shortly after our, our uh, interview two days ago, there was all kinds of drama on the David Haas crew because in, in the middle of Missouri, uh, Haas passed a sleeping Balo to move into second place overall in the men's race. And then uh, because Balo had more sleep four hours, he rode past Strasser on the road. I mean, he rode past uh, Haas on the road. But then shortly after that, we get word that David Haas DNF'd in Jefferson City, Missouri. He had problems with a bad shoulder from two previous crashes in, in, in Rams that he had done before this year. Yes, we've had a couple surprise dropouts. And so it looks like at this point, Strasser, Ballo, and who's chasing him for third? Uh, Jacob Olson is only 46 miles behind Ballo. And if you apply the 10% rule, which says – you could only close about 10% of the remaining distance left. Well, they have over 500 miles to go, and Olsen is only 46 miles behind Balo for second place. So Olsen could potentially cast, be, catch Balo for second overall. And I think both of them got sleep last night, it looks like. Uh, maybe Balo got a little more sleep than Olsen. They uh, did. Let's get to this women's race. <laughs> Since we last talked, the thing exploded. It's re re reconfigured itself a couple different times. And I did. I was running errands. I didn't get a chance to look just before we went on the air. So tell us, kind of update us on what happened. Yeah, the big news is, well, a couple of days ago, uh, the Swiss leader is a pulver. At one point, she had an 11-hour lead over second place. But then a couple of very long stops, and the most recent one was 24 hours in Missouri in the Lake of the Ozark section, has uh, pushed her all the way back into fifth place. And now it looks like uh, maybe Shauna Hogan has a chance of catching Isa Polver for fifth place because they've both spent about 48 hours off the bicycle, which is an incredible amount of time in Ram, both Isa and Shauna. So okay. they'll be battling for fifth place, but the in the in the women's fifty plus division, it's still a pretty close race between leader Daniela Genovese from Brazil and Leah Goldstein. They're about thirty miles apart. But interesting to note, Daniela's been sleeping twice as much as Leah has. So I think what that does is that makes Daniela much faster towards the end of the race. So I see her pulling away from Leah. Well, yesterday I found it fascinating, Danny, beginning about midday, I think, uh, it appeared as though Genovese was about one to two miles behind Leah, and she never changed that spot. She probably quite often had Leah in sight. I theorize, see if you agree with me, that Genovese is playing a cat and mouse game just waiting, 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 and sometime during last night, the cat pounced, and this morning when I wake up, she's got a 36-mile lead. 
I think she's even extending that a little bit, isn't she? Exactly. If you can sit back just two miles behind your competitor, you're sort of stalking them, and it can drive your competitor crazy, you know, not wondering, well, why aren't they passing me? Uh, these close finishes, back when I uh, won both of my Rams in 96 and 99, my wins were less than three hours, and I didn't take the lead until 200 miles to go. And sometimes I, you know, I would be riding with my competition, Rob Kish, for hours at a time, just within sight of each other. Genovese has sleep in her bank. I haven't seen what uh, Leah has slept during the last day. They're both smart writers. They're both strong writers. They are. But uh, Genovese has a history of being very steady and very paced and actually improving her performance slightly as the race goes on. Yes, I also looked at Genovese's speed this year compared with when she won 10 years ago in 2009, and her speed is one and a half miles an hour faster at this point in the race than she was 10 years ago when she won. So the first and second overall in the women race are both over 50. It looks like th this could be the first time that a 50-plus woman ever wins overall women. Uh, I would think that's a pretty good possibility. There's another very good race going up for third place among the women, and that's between Alexander Mixner, I'm not sure if that's right, and the Japanese woman, Chiko Azawa. They're only three miles apart, Lee. Okie doke. Well, listen, thanks again. Hey, folks, if you're not watching this race, you're missing a heck of a lot of excitement, and it's hard to go to sleep at night. I kind of got bags under my eyes, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Hey, take care, Daddy. We'll All see right, you again. Talk we'll to see, you again. see you again in a couple days, okay? Okay.